Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to determine the Fourier series for the given function f of x equal to x square of the period 2 pi in the interval 0 less than x less than 2 pi. As a first part, we are going to write the formula for the Fourier series which is f of x equal to a naught by 2 plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n x plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity b n sin n x. Now to calculate a naught we are going to use a formula 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x dx and in place of f of x we are going to use the function which is x square and on integrating this we get x cube by 3 and our limit is 0 to 2 pi. So now this is 1 by pi 2 pi whole cube by 3 and this is 8 pi cube by 3 pi. After cancelling this, we left with 8 by 3 pi square. Then coming to the next part, a n. The formula for a n is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x cos n x dx. Now, this is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x is x square into cos nx dx. We are going to use Bernoulli's formula for integrating this. The formula is integral uv dx is uv1 minus u dash v2 plus u double dash v3 minus u triple dash v4 so on. So from this we have u equal to x square and v equal to cos nx. Now u dash becomes 2x. u double dash is 2 and u triple dash is 0. Then v1 is sin nx by n. When we integrate cos nx we get sin nx by n. Then v2 is minus cos nx by n square and v3 is minus sin nx by n cube. And since u triple dash is 0, we don't need v4. Now we are going to substitute all these in the Bernoulli's formula. So u v1 which is sin nx by n minus u dash is 2x and v2 is minus cos nx. So I can make this as plus cos nx by n square then minus sorry plus u double dash which is 2 and v3 is minus sin nx by n cube. Now totally we have 0 to 2 pi and outside there is 1 by pi. So 1 by pi when I take the upper limit 2 pi sin 2 pi term is 0 and here it is 2 into 2 pi cos 2 pi is 1 2 pi and n is also there it is 1 divided by n square. Again sin 2 pi term which is 0 and coming to the lower limit first term there is x so it is 0 second term there is x it is 0 and this is sin term so sin 0 is 0 so totally everything is 0. So we have 1 by pi into 4 pi by n square and we can cancel this we are left with 4 by n square. In the same way coming to bn 
the formula is 1 by pi integral 0 to 2 pi f of x sin nx dx. We are going to use the same Bernoulli's formula for that. Before that I have to substitute f of x. So 1 by pi 0 to 2 pi x square sin nx dx. So u is x square v is sin nx u dash is 2x u double dash is 2 u triple dash is 0 now v1 is minus cos nx by n v2 is minus sin nx by n square we are integrating this successive integration and this minus sign integration is cos nx by n cube. Now we are going to substitute everything in the Bernoulli's formula. We have 1 by pi outside u v1 which is minus cos nx by n then minus u dash into v2 minus sin nx by n square plus u double dash into v3 cos nx by n cube and 0 to 2 pi. Now coming to the substitution, first term becomes 2 pi whole square and cos n2 pi is 1 and there is a minus 1 outside and we have by n and sin 2 n pi is 0 so second term no need to write and coming to the third term 2 by n cube into 1 and coming to the lower limit first term and second term there are x terms so it is 0 and the last term is cos 0 is 1 so 2 by n cube so totally we have 1 by pi and minus 4 pi square by n. This is 4 pi square and there is a minus sign. Now 2 by n cube minus 2 by n cube. Both the terms we can cancel. And we can cancel this also. So finally it is 4 pi by n. This is our b n. So now coming to our Fourier series formula. f of x is equal to a naught by 2 and a naught what we got here is 8 by 3 pi square so if I put a naught by 2 8 by 3 pi square since it is a naught by 2 there is a half that is 2 in the denominator so I take it separately a naught by 2 then plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity and a n cos n x so a n what we got is 4 by n square so 4 by n square into cos n x plus sigma n equal to 1 to infinity b n which is minus 4 pi by n and sin nx. So finally we can cancel this. So f of x is 4 by 3 pi square. Then this 4 can be taken outside the summation. Summation n is 1 to infinity. We have cos nx by n square. Again minus 4 pi can be taken common. Summation n is equal to 1 to infinity. And we left with sin nx by n. So as per the question, we have to determine the Fourier series for the given function in the given period. And we got it.